Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Sundays with Sally. Thank you guys for tuning in. If you haven't done so already, you guys know the spiel. Hit the uh, subscribe, like, share button down there on whatever platform you're watching on, whether it's YouTube or Instagram, to be sure to stay up to date with the latest marine tip, techs, and trends, as well as all of the projects we've got going on. All right, so that's out of the way. What are we talking about today? Today we're talking about something that is really near and dear to me, guys, and it's fire prevention and fire safety. Effective Wednesday, April 20th, let me see, yeah, April 20th of 2022 of this year, fire extinguishers on your boat. The non-rechargeable, non-serviceable fire extinguishers, like this little guy right here, 12-year lifespan on them. Treat them like your flares, guys. They've got an expiration date now. How do you know what year your fire extinguisher is? Well, if you've owned the boat for 10 or 12 years and you don't remember buying them, that's a pretty good sign that you probably need them. So let's talk about this. Let's go into this a little bit more in depth, guys. Your fire extinguisher, 80, 90% of the manufacturers, you're gonna find the date actually stamped right here. Uh, I don't know if you can see it on the camera or not, stamped on the bottom. It's this date that they're going to go by Then the Coast Guard does their boarding and safety inspection on your boat. That's what they're going to go by. They're not going to go by the fact that you bought the extinguisher in 2022. It's that this one is stamped in 2021. The clock has started ticking from the day it was manufactured. So just call it a hunch, guys, but I think that's something they're going to be pinging on this year. So if you're out on the water, you're looking to get your good as gold certificate when the Coast Guard does their boarding, make sure your fire extinguishers and flares are up to date. All right. What else should we know about these fire extinguishers? Well, first and foremost, you can't just go buy any fire extinguisher uh, off the shelf. It needs to be a U.S. Coast Guard approved one. And you're going to see right on here on most of these, you're going to see marine type U.S. Coast Guard. It's tagged right here on the fire extinguisher. It's for the marine environment. And you need to make sure that it is as such. So just having a fire extinguisher is great but it's not going to get you to pass your safety inspection by the Coast Guard when they come and do their boarding. Uh, what else? What are, checking my notes here. Um, oh, a couple other things to talk about. This little handy-dandy gauge, just because your fire extinguisher is within that 12-year window, if that needle starts going anywhere into the red, ditch it. Time to get rid of it. Time to get a new one because... That's not a, an effective fire extinguisher. It is not working to its rated full capacity. So that's something to be taken care of. Uh, let's see. Hold on. I'm going to give the actual government spiel on this one to make sure I don't miss any words. Um, da -da -da -da, let's see. Fire extinguisher must be on board and readily accessible. Must be of an approved type, not be expired, or appear to have been previously used. Be maintained in good serviceable working condition. Meaning, if the extinguisher has a pressure gauge reading or indicator, it must be in the operable range or position. The lock pin firmly in place. The discharge nozzle clean and free of obstructions, and the extinguisher does not show any visible signs of significant corrosion or damage. If you're a freshwater guy, that last part's not too important to you. To us saltwater guys, that's probably going to kill it before the 12 years, paint flaking, things like that. Um, one last quick little thing we're talking about this. This seems to be a hot button topic for certain people. Um, the bracket. I've heard people say, I've seen, I've challenged it on boardings. If it doesn't have a bracket, if it is not mounted, it does not count as a fire extinguisher. Wrong says right here, be on board and readily accessible. It doesn't say anything about mounted. Now, it can't be in the box you bought it from. That's not readily accessible. But if you've got a drawer that you can quickly pull it out from or maybe under the home seat in a tucked away spot, it counts. Readily accessible is the term you guys need to know there. It does not need to have this bracket. If you miss this bracket, it doesn't mean you're not going to pass U.S. Coast Guard inspection. So that's it. A little something different here. We're talking safety, guys, but it's just as important. Something like this can prevent a much larger fire on a boat. If you can get to it and stop the fire when it is still small, 
before it grows, because once it grows, forget it, bounce off the boat, peace out, boat's burned into the water line, it's a giant petroleum product, right? So make sure these are up to date, make sure they're safe, be safe out there, be smart out there, setting you guys up for a successful 22 on the water. So that's it. That's all I've got for this week's Sundays with Selly. Tune in next week. I think I'm going down to the Miami Boat Show, so we're going to have a bunch of stuff. We're going to be posting throughout the weekend while we are down there. If we see anything neat, cool, you know we're going to bring it to you guys, and we're going to have it on Sundays with Selly or one of these upcoming episodes. So please, like I said, give us a share, follow, like, Instagram, YouTube, Navtronics. You know the spiel? Uh, that's it, guys. That's all I got. Peace.